Welcome, welcome to N Plus One Channel. This is Carl, and I have kind of a bizarro surprise for you. I've done a lot of uh, Generation 8 and Generation 7 PlayStation titles. Well, this time, I want to take you back a little bit. One more generation. We're going to be doing Panzer Dragoon Orta. Why are we doing that? Well, I'm waiting for the DLC for uh, Dragon Guard 3 to install, and honestly, I love this game, and it's amazing. So I'd love for you to actually enjoy this with me. It's pretty cool. Uh, this is a game that was released on the original Xbox. This is part of the uh, Panzer Dragoon series, which started on the Sega Saturn. Actually, one of the best Sega Saturn games uh, made was uh, Panzer Dragoon Saga, which was actually an RPG. Now, this plays a lot more like the first two Panzer Dragoon games that were on the Sega Saturn. Also, there were PC releases, now that I think about it as well. So this is an on-rails shooter. Um, it's very similar to uh, games like, uh, well, like Res or, um, you know, in a way it's almost in a class of its own. But it's called an on-rails shooter because you don't really control the where of which you're going. You just sort of control how you bank and turn, lock on, shoot. And really what got me thinking about this actually were the uh, scenes in Dragon Guard 3 where you would actually ride your dragon and you know you're taking down enemies and i'm like oh man you know what you know it'd be amazing to play this would be amazing to play so we're gonna do that this is episode one of let's play panzer dragoon orta orta what did i say oh, whatever we're gonna play panzer dragoon orta we're pressing start to begin uh we're gonna do a new game and we're gonna play it on normal now this game is actually not that easy so i will probably do poorly I'm also hoping I got the camera kind of close enough. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna watch the intro here. Oh, you know what? You guys can watch the intro. I think I need to turn it up a little. I hope you guys caught all that, right? Details are actually pretty interesting. Uh, the Panzer Dragoon world is actually really rich. So for the type of games that these are, they're actually very story rich. Um, you know, there's always this reoccurring theme of an empire and, and ancient technology. And actually at this point, it's like layers upon layers of ancient technology comes, everyone destroys themselves, comes back, goes away, comes back. Their world has been through hell, honestly. But it also makes it really interesting. Um, the landscapes, the visuals, monsters are pretty exotic. I mean, you know, yeah, you're supposed to conceptualize it as a dragon, but it's not necessarily dragons as you would understand them. You know, they don't they don't literally breathe fire. I mean, I guess that looks like blue flames, but I mean, really, it's a little different. I'm getting excited, actually. So we see, of course, random girl in a tower. And there are what appear to be dragons zeroing in on her location. Ooh. 
got this whole alien kind of look to them. So yeah, again, they're not really your typical dragon look. And, and really, I, I don't think of them as dragons. I think they're gonna kind of call them that. I think they were called dragon mares. Here's our buddy. He's kind of come to the rescue randomly, but we are being chased and pursued. So let's go do the thing. Now loading. I've tried to make the quality as high as possible for this. Um, I set the uh, Xbox to output 1080i. So we'll see how this looks. It looks okay. It's definitely one of the more interesting games visually for the original Xbox. I remember thinking it was beautiful. All right, I gotta remember the controls. Come on, give me control, and there we go. All right, so basically, you kind of lock on, and you actually have more or less a full 360 degree rotation. It's a little more complex than that, but right now, we're just trying to survive, and I'm trying to recall all the controls. So you hold down the button, the fire button, to lock on to multiple targets. You can also just fire, oh, no, all right. Then you press, yeah, yeah. All right, so your triggers actually change the general direction that you're facing though. So, you know, you've got your four cardinal directions and then sort of different degrees of each cardinal direction. Oop, I want that. It has kind of an arcadey feel to it. Um, And really, actually, all we're seeing is just the, yeah, all we're seeing is kind of the basics right now. Some of the boss fights are pretty epic. Uh, I really enjoy the visuals. And really, it's just non-stop action. I'm doing terribly. Look at that. Those missiles, they're hitting me. And then I need to turn around, deal with these guys as they're in front of me. And actually, you know, of course, the less I, I kind of take care of, the lower my score at the end of this level is going to be. So it does kind of have that sort of old school convention where, you know, it, it harkens back a lot to uh, arcade shooters in this similar genre. This isn't quite House of the Dead, but it, it's closer to House of the Dead than say like Ace Combat. Whoa. No, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. And I've actually been really wanting to hook up the original Xbox for quite some time. Because there's a lot of really amazing games that, that I don't want to say no one played, because clearly people played them. But not many people played them. Uh, I don't think I really knew anybody who was not only enthusiastic about this game, but had actually never played it. Um, and it's not surprising, right? This wasn't like a big release here in America. I don't even think it really made a lot of fanfare in Japan, even though the actual series itself was actually rather world-renowned. Come on, I'm looking, I'm looking. And of course, this level, you know, it's, it's not very interesting because it's dark. You don't really get to see the detail and the richness of the world. Hey, no, we're not doing that. Boss fights are always these kind of elaborate, multi-tiered things. Um, <coughs> excuse me. In some cases, boss fights themselves feel like whole worlds or whole levels. All right. So we're in a narrow passageway. Hey, oh, I saw the red on my radar. I just didn't turn around in time. All right. So yeah, you want to try and keep an eye on your radar. which in theory should be fairly easy to do. In practice, it's, it's not always quite so. What, what, oh yeah, that's right. You can hit the environment. Ah, gotta remember, is there like an extra special way to dodge? I just don't remember. Those are gears, by the way, They're, it's rather dark. I might actually, hold on, I might try and see if I can adjust the brightness. No, 
I do not have such an option. Okay. You actually probably noticed that it, it made mention of different things. Heavy wing, light wing. Um, I don't know. I don't want to spoil it, though, actually. Because really, in not too much time, we'll actually find out what those things actually mean. Right now, it's just menu options, and they mean nothing to you. Don't spoil yourself. Or you could. I mean, I don't know. I don't even know if anyone's going to really watch this. Um, but this is one of those games that if you can find it, totally get it. All right, so we're taking on a big airship here. I'll tell you, man, lining up a bunch of targets and shooting them is so ridiculously satisfying. <sighs> Can't remember if there's a way to dodge. I haven't... Ch oh, that's right. That's right. You can adjust your position relative... Of course. Of course. That's always been a part of the series. All right. So let me remember here. All right, so I can back off, I can go forward, and then I also have my different cardinal directions. Now, I gotta remember, because this allows me to adjust my position relative to things, although I don't seem to actually be getting in front of it or to the side of it, which is part of how that's supposed to work. So yeah, it's on rails, but you do have a surprising level of control, and of course the whole rotation thing changes things too. Yeah, you're darn right. The shutters have been damaged. Let me turn around here. See, and of course, the game does keep trying to change things around on you, shift your perspective, and you'll notice I'm not really doing a lot of damage. Also, I forget, but I've got some kind of a thing I can press. I can't remember what it is. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's right. Oh, I can switch between all the... Oh, shoot. I must have kept... Uh, all right, all right, all right. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right, so I do have the ability to switch between the forms. But there's also... What is it? What button does it? That does. Okay. So the white button actually does kind of like a bomb attack. Uh lets you kind of have some temporary invincibility which really if you look at my health it's terrible so whoa 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 you know what oh no 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 i thought i could do it again i can't I, apparently i can't i may actually have to redo this fight i really hope not but I have taken a lot, a lot, a lot of damage. It might seem like I'm doing okay, but no. No, I'm not. I'm not at all. I used to be a beast at this game. This is nowhere near what I'm capable of. Then again, I'm recording this, what, at almost 2 o'clock in the morning? I have been trying to find time to get out here for days. And, uh, all right, hold on. Can I, uh, I can't do it. Okay. All right, so I'm going to switch to the heavy. So the heavy basically lets me take a little bit more damage. I fire slower. I move slower. So I don't have anywhere near the mo uh, the maneuverability that I should have. Ah, I'm dead. I'm totally dead. Game over, man. Game over. Yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll restart the boss. We'll try that one more time. And then if we lose again, we'll try it one one more time until we do it. All right, so... But I can't remember, yeah, if you actually are supposed to unlock that. To do this fairly, I probably should have deleted all the save files. I had unlocked all sorts of stuff a long time ago.
And I actually may have even deleted my save once I reached that point. Oh, come on, come on, come on. I can't remember what it is that dictates... Okay, so it's that blue energy thing that dictates that. All right, there we go. We're gonna destroy as much of those as possible. All right, so this guy, basically, he's highly maneuverable. He takes a lot of damage, but he's got an amazing rapid fire and a wide reticule. That actually lets me hit like a metric butt ton. But I don't know that it's worth it right now. Ah, come on. I do like the heavy attacks. I don't care that they're slower. Yeah, okay, there we go. Yeah, that's how you do it. Shoot. My timing's still terrible, though. Alright, let's get back to the heavy dragon, and we're gonna booyah this. Alright. Remote mines, huh? Oh yeah, it's those silly silly things right so I can't remember are these effective that's not effective that is not a oh man oh man oh man not even cool shoot 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 all right so I want to keep my main dragon I think I was thinking that my light wing might have been effective enough but it's just not it is just not effective Come on. Give me just a moment to target these jerk face heads. All right. Down with the empire, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Die a little. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay. You know what? Fine. There we go. <sighs> yes. The boss fights take a long time. You know what? Yeah. Let's hit that as much as we can. And you know what? No. Alright, so it's gonna do the bomb thing again. Or the landmine thing again. Unless I think I can... Alright, you know what? So you, you guys... No, no, I'm just waiting for you. Wait, do I have any targets I can even hit at this point? Come on. We can do this. We can do this. No! Ha! Ha! Yeah! Oh, no you don't. No you don't. Right? I am not gonna tolerate this garbage. No! No! Right, come on, come on, come on! It's really hard to get a hit in edgewise with this one set of attack. Alright. Come on, just like heavy guns here, heavy guns. We did it. We did it, you guys. Yeah, the core has been damaged. That was hardcore. Oh, I almost knocked my drink over. All right, episode one, City in the Storm, total rank C. Of course, I'm looking across the way, and there's some notice on Microsoft Security Essentials I've got to address before it closes down the, uh... Oh, ridiculous. 
Uh, yeah. Expecting a straight answer. Why did you save me? <laughs> totally effective. So you recognize I'm some ancient creature and you... Take care of that before it stops recording on me. Are you serious? Completely ridiculous. All right, so we got a lot of setup going on here. And I think it just transitions right into the next level. So I'm trying to think of the best way to approach this. Yeah, it does. It does. And see, things start to get pretty amazing, too. All right, hold on, hold on. Let me let me pause this. Let me pause this. Okay. I'm going to save and end the game. Yep. Yeah, whatever. Let's overwrite the previous save. Okay, cool. That's my result, apparently. <laughs> dragon Rake. Pigeon. Pigeon's not a dragon. All right, so I want to thank you so much for joining me here at N Plus One Channel. I want to talk a little bit more about this game. Um, it's kind of silly. Right now, I'm having to use a Windows device because uh, I haven't gotten everything set up the way I want to. You know, you know, Microsoft Security Essentials popped up, stole focus, and and was in danger of putting the uh, the laptop I'm recording with to sleep right in the middle of the recording, which of course would would interrupt things. So it's best for me to go ahead and end this. But since this is episodic, not just you know the series that I'm going to do, but this game and the way that the game presents um, presents itself, I'm going to go ahead and do this each level. Now, interestingly, there are multiple kind of branches you can take, sort of. There's a ton of hidden stuff to unlock in this game, like a lot more than you would think, including you're actually able to unlock the original Panzer Dragoon, uh, not Saga, I always want to say Saga. Such a brilliant game, you need to play it. Uh, but maybe maybe if you can find the, the demo disc, actually, for Panzer Dragoon Saga, because they released the full first disc of the game. It was a four disc game. Uh, yeah, it was a four disc long game kind of back in the days when RPGs were typically multiple discs because they were huge. So you can play a good, I want to say, seven, eight hours, really, into the game. And the first disc is really cheap. I mean, they made tons and tons of copies, and it was released as a demo. It's a pretty full-featured demo. 
I'm looking forward to doing this. And I'm looking forward to getting to Dragon Guard 3. I really want it to finish downloading and installing and everything that I'm waiting on. I'm going to check on that in a moment. But for right now, I knew I wanted to do this. Hook up the original Xbox. Play something cool. Play something you probably haven't played before. And if you have played it, tell me how terrible I am. I know I'm doing terribly. I'm going to get better. I'm, you know, it's been a while. I need to readjust. And uh, the night is still young-ish, more or less. Check us out. We do a lot of cool stuff. Right now, I've got several series going. Probably too many. But I'm trying to kind of cut that down. We just finished Soma. Um, I'm doing Dragon Guard 3. And then, of course, me and my main co-host are doing Nier. And Nier's amazing. <coughs> Excuse me. So, check us out. Like, subscribe. Do all those cool things. I'll see you next time. And let's keep doing the thing. Oh, shoot. I got to get up and do it now, too. I moved the daggone cursor.